Just fanatics. The blaspheming Bible bashers, as these run fans have liked to call them, led by the ignominious Morty Vicker. And this crowd, uncle crowd, have they grown to a obligatory call? They are accompanied by Morty Vicker. Hailing from the dark side of religion, and with a total combined weight of 335 pounds, the Saviour, God's own Maverick, they are God's Army! God's Army coming off the last tag team tournament at Ascension, where they were knocked out in the first round by the finalists Fatal Fury. I'm sure they're going to be in a foul mood tonight. I want to ensure victory. And their opponents. <laughs> and this exciting youngster about to hit the ring as one half of a young, exciting, fresh tag team that were also in the first round of the last show's tag team tournament. But they too were knocked out in the first round, so this is a bit of a rubber to see almost a third place playoff. And now we wait for his partner. Do you have a partner? Oh. And his partner! Well. Come on, man. Can't wait much longer. Who is it? Hang on. I recognize that music. It's the beast! Oh, yes, it's the beast! Of a disqualification victory at heart and soul in which he received an injury. As I was so saying just before, before Matthew decided to do his thing in the ring. Hannibal Ramsey coming off heart and soul with a disqualification victory over Greg the Hatchie Hammond was injured in that match, thus not allowing him to be in attendance at RWA Ascension. But here we go, Matthew. You're back, in, back with me. Absolutely voodoo. Look, I just grabbed the over just in Zane while I was in there and he passed the following news on to me. Uh, sorry, Jack Lightning regarding Justin Zane. We anticipated he would be his partner this evening. Justin did make it to the building tonight, however he has failed a late fitness test. As a result, his substitute tonight appearing, the one and only the beast, Hannibal Ramsey. What a match this is going to be, Voodoo Child. Sad news for Justin Zane, but can that beast, Hannibal Ramsey, be an adequate partner for Jack Lightning? I'm sure he can. What a superb wrestler, the beast, Hannibal Ramsey is. What a fantastic tag team these two boys are going to make. Here we go again, the Runcorn fans. Getting on the backs of God's army. Well, if there's one group that the RWA fans love to make fun of, it's God's army. There's Maverick getting into the ring. I suppose one advantage that God's army might have in this match, Rudy Child, they are tag team specialists. They've teamed together hundreds of times before, whereas this is the first ever outing for Jack Lightning and the Beast Hannibal Ramsey. Already the signs are there for the Beast and Lightning, they're quick tags, they've isolated the Maverick in one corner of the ring. It's good tag team strategy, they're showing no signs that they've just been thrown together. Absolutely, they look the experienced tag team at this time. Great van on the leg there from uh, Jack Lightning, preventing Maverick from making his tag to his partner, the Savior. And another quick tag brings the Beast, the Animal Ramsey, back into the ring. Again, he's just pushed Maverick into the corner and invited the savior into the ring. But then again, you know, it's pretty much strength against strength here in the early stages of this match. Absolutely. And there's one thing the Beast enjoys, it's going toe to toe with another gentleman. Such a technically sound performer, but he has such power. 
Whip across the ring and a fantastic drop kick from the beast. Hannibal Ramsey takes the savior down. Great athleticism for one with a low center of gravity like the beast. He certainly does. He certainly does. Tree of woe like Conan the Barbarian. This is brilliant. <laughs> and a tag is made. Here comes the lightning fast Jack Lightning. He's the set him up. Oh, what a fantastic drop kick that one. And the savior's mid center must be in tatters. Bad crack here from Jack Lightning. Is he going to go for the cover for him? No, he seems to be. Oh, this is a sound strategy. Oh no, but the savior's got a handle on him here. His, his weight's against him here. And oh, Jack powered back into the corner. His back took a heck of a crack there. And the momentum has turned in this matchup for the first time. His God's Army now get a bit of offense in. Lightning was a little too slow, really. You know, not like him, really, because he was a little bit too slow to get over and make that quick tag before the Savior could use his power, get him up on his back, and take him out. Superb. Monkey flip, we saw that from Maverick, into a neck breaker there. Full face neck breaker and a cover. That's an arrogant cover. You're not going to be the man with the ability of Jack Lightning with that kind of nonchalant cover. In fact, Maverick seems to be picking the line up. Oh, he's, That's a really big step. he's really rubbing it in there. And although you can say that Jack Lightning is small, you can say that he hasn't got the power or the strength, but you dare at any RWA superstar take them lightly in the ring method. Absolutely. Any time you can get a victory, Voodoo Child, you take that victory. I suspect it's mind games at this moment in time from God's Army. But since that moment, though, God's Army, you've got to give them credit. They've managed to isolate Jack Lightning in their corner and good tag team strategy. They've kept their pace on him, kept yep. quick tags. They certainly are. That's a superb headlock takeover. Over there from the Savior, and they've also used the referee to their advantage with blind little shenanigans that go on, probably against the word of God. But we won't go into the hypocrisy of God's army tonight, Matthew. Well, that's part of the, uh, the advantage the experience gives you in the ring. And as I said before, oh, what a clothesline! Big, powerful, what a clothesline! That could be all for Jack Pudding. Big, powerful chop of meat from the Savior using his strength there to absolutely clock Jack Lightning. He's now working over the, the knee and lower leg there of Jack Lightning. That's a clever, clever tactic because if you take away his speed, if the lad can't run around anymore, he's going to be a sitting target in that ring. And another huge clothesline from the Savior takes Lightning down. Like a sledgehammer on a cabbage, Matthew. That clothesline was meat on meat. What a superb match you're witnessing here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Run Corn Wrestling Academy. It's RWA Boiling Point and it's God's Army versus the team of Jack Lightning. And the beast, Hannibal Ramsey. That's right. As we were saying before, though we cut off the Lightning's experience, his speed. I say his experience is only a young man, but if you cut off his speed, he's, you know, he's got one advantage left against him. But we can't count him out. He's got oh. great resilience, great endurance. Yeah. He's got to take a lot to put him away. Absolutely. But with the Rumpel crowd behind him as they are, I don't think this match is over yet. Jack needs to make that tag though. Absolutely, he does. Jack, one of the great young talents here at the RWA. He's a very modest young man, considers himself to still be learning his trade. What a performer he's going to be for years to come. Oh, what a beautiful, fantastic high kick now from Jack Lightning. He's taking the savior down. He's landing on the wrong side of the ring. Can he make it back over to his own corner and tag in the beast? Oh, Savior's the fresher of the two. You can see he's making a bit more proper. Lightning really needs to pick up his game before Maverick can get in here. Jack needs to suck it up. Crawling over the fans here, going wild in the RW arena. Pleading there. His eyes were pleading to the beast. Oh, the forward run. He's, got he's got the tag. Here comes the beast. Two close lines. Takes him down. Body slam on Maverick. And on the big foul, the Savior. What power from the beast, Hannibal Ramsey. And Jack back in straight away. Wow, shades of the Heart Foundation there as he threw lightning down on top. And a fantastic suplex from the beast. He's relentless, he's relentless, here comes Jack. Oh, beautiful somersault, leg drop there from lightning. But the savior's got the beast in here. Jack's on the outside. Oh, Monty Vicker. Oh, he's just nailed him. He nailed him with the cross, Matt. Oh, that's disgraceful. The referee's in! Oh, and there's a three count! Oh, it's bang out of order, Matthew! God's army get the victory thanks to the unholy crucifix! Money Vicker, as we saw it there, hit him with that 
cross. I like Maverick to get the pin, and God's army have taken this one home. Out. God's army have taken this match, taken the victory. Hannibal Jack must be dejected, but they got caught out. They got.